Welcome! In this tutorial, we'll show you how to run a full system update and create a new network with Gyroset Toolbox. First, make sure all the devices are from the same kit and they are all plugged in, connected and within range. You can activate driving or mousing to be certain that you have a working network. Start the application and see if your dongle appears in the list of available devices. It will be the main device through which the app can communicate with your system. In order to establish Bluetooth connection between devices, you have to pair them. This is no different in the case of your dongle and your phone. To manage your networks with the app, you need to update your devices first. Just follow the instructions on the screen. It's best to put your link into service mode at the beginning of the update process by touching and holding the LED light with the Gyroset logo on it. In service mode, the light pulsates in orange. Every time your phone meets another Bluetooth device for the first time, they need to be paired with a code for security reasons. In this case, you need to type in the passkey from the Kubo screen into your phone's input field. The Kubo update may take a while if you're updating it to 2.3.0, after which yet another Kubo update will happen. From this version on, all other Kubo updates will be a lot faster. The update of the link happens in two parts. First, the link firmware gets downloaded to the Kubo, which then uploads it onto the link itself. Now all your devices are up to date and can be joined in one working network. To do that, choose the dongle again from the list. If you see all devices getting a check mark, that's good. It means they are connected. Press continue.
Now name your network. Then give your network a 6 digit long pass key. This will be used whenever your Kubo needs to pair with other devices. Very important that once everything is set up, your Kubo and your dongle need to be paired too. Your network has been created, now you can keep it up to date and manage it through this app. One last thing, the update process may fail sometimes due to Bluetooth interference. If that happens at any point, just repower your devices, restart the process and follow the instructions on the screen.